name is Gail Masando, and I want to bring you an emotional nugget, emotional wellness nugget that is for our mental health. One of the things that gets in the way of us really being well emotionally is fear. Fear is a tool, it's a weapon that keeps us, um, can take us hostage and causes us to ask the questions, what if, how come, and why? Maybe some of you can identify with the paralyzing feeling that fear can cause. And we have 365 fear knots in the word of God. There's a reason for that. God knows that fear can just change our perspective of reality. Sometimes we fear things that don't even happen. That's not to say that there aren't real problems today particularly in this COVID season, that's not to say that we are to be in denial about any of the problems that we might have. However, what the Word of God is asking us to do is not to allow fear to arrest us and hold us hostage. When I was nine, I had an issue with fear. His name was Tar Baby and he was the school bully. And he would promise me at recess that he would get me after school. And every day he taunted me with, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, and I believed him. So every day I ran home from school, every single day I ran home. And then one day before school, before leaving for school, I made up my mind, I'm not gonna run anymore. I don't even know what came to me to make me think that I was no longer afraid of the school bully. I don't think all the fear ran away from me, but that day I made a decision that I wasn't gonna let Tar Baby, who represented fear in my life as a nine-year-old, have control. And so I took courage that day. I closed my eyes when the bell rang for us to leave school for the day. I walked out the door, closed my eyes. I didn't really want to face him head on, but I stood in the place where he always chased me. And that day, I didn't run. And Tar Baby was yelling, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you. But I didn't run. And I opened my eyes and you know what Tar Baby said? Okay. He shrugged his shoulders and turned around and walked away. I could have saved myself some energy. I could have saved myself some being afraid. I think the enemy does that to us. He chases us. He gets a kick out of seeing us run from pillar to post trying to find an answer. God says in Isaiah 41, 10, fear not. I'm with you and I will help you. And I just want to share that sometimes we have to ask God for help and ask him to send us someone we can speak to, someone we can pray with, someone who might be a little more brave because they've been through the experience we've been through so they can be of help. God bless you today. Isaiah 41.10 is the fear buster for today. God bless you.